Yo, what is good YouTube? And in this video, we're going to celebrate Luka Doncic's 41 point triple double against the Golden State Warriors by taking a look at how to use his dribble style. His signature size up escape package, his signature dribble package, and combo that with some of the best step back jumper animations in the game. But they're only as good as you're willing to put the time in because they're more advanced moves. They're not the fastest animations. They don't create the most distance. But if you use it the right way, you will be able to unlock the elite shot creator that is Luka Doncic and replicate his style in NBA 2K23. So let's start with Luka Doncic's crossover to tween combo, which is very simple. It's a nice rhythm dribble. It's a nice way to set up your opponent by slowing down the pace. So with the ball in your right hand, tap the right stick up left, then right, then left. This will give you a crossover to a double tween combo. Now you want to add a space between the two tween dribbles. Otherwise, you'll be doing his faster double tween switchback combo, which I will show later on. You can extend this combo by adding another tween dribble. So add another right stick input left or right. So this will give you a crossover to a triple tween. And from here you have options and one of the best options is to combo this with an escape jumper, a step back jumper or a side step jumper because these dribble animations combo well with the step back jumpers. I also like to launch on the same side of the ball and then launch into a pull up jumper or a step back jumper. Then you can extend the combo by adding a crossover then another double tween combo. And the tween after the second crossover actually adds a hang dribble hesitation move which you can see right there. You can launch out of that into a crossover or launch on the same side or combo that to another tween dribble. Next is the tween to crossover combo which basically just reverses the combo that we did earlier on. So with the ball in your right hand, tap the right stick left, then upright, then left right. You'll notice that the other tween dribble again adds that hesitation hang dribble which you can then combo out of with another tween or launch out of into a step back jumper or a crossover launch. So Luca isn't the fastest dribble, his signature dribbles don't create the most space as well with some added animations. But what it does, it sets up his attack game very well using change of pace dribble moves, which you can set up your opponent by launching on the same side and then pulling back with a step back jumper. So use Luca's change of pace moves, he's not the fastest dribbler, so using these moves methodically to launch into your counters is the way to go. Next is the hezi to tween combo, which is essentially a ball hand switchback. So with the ball in your right hand, tap the right stick right to left. So this gives you a nice hesitation dribble into a tween dribble, which you can combo out of into the earlier combos that I showed or launch out of and then counter with your step back jumpers. Next is Luca's other switch back combo, which is the double tween signature switch back combo. So with the ball in your right hand, quickly tap the right stick from left to right. This gives you this nice double tween dribble. Doubling up on your switch back combo will give you this nice 4 dribble animation but it doesn't look quite complete. So if you do the switch back combo with 4 sets of switch back combos, you can get this Luca signature dribble animation. And this reminds me a lot of the James Harden dribble 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 combo which Luca does in fairness to him. So now you can add faster change of pace dribble moves to the different slow dribble rhythm dribble combos that I showed earlier on to mix things up and catch your defenders off guard and then launch into your pull counters. Look at this move right here. We combo the double switch back combo into a tween escape dribble, directly comboing and blending that into an in and out hezi to make it look like Luca will take a step back jumper. But instead, we launch into a counter crossover and then check out this sweet contact layup animation to evade Kevon Looney. Here, we combo the Hezi to tween crossover into a double tween switchback to launch Luca into one of his famous contact layup animations. Just look at how we catch defenders off guard with a tween switchback directly into a step back jumper. And Luka Doncic basically has also some of the best moving dribble six in the game. His moving crossover is elite and if you get defenders really trying to commit to cutting off that moving crossover counter with a step back jumper and as you can see here we use our defenders momentum against them. So as I mentioned earlier Luka's step back animations aren't the fastest, they don't cover the most distance but using momentum is well what will get you success with using Luka Doncic. And if you're a my career guy you already know that Luka Doncic's moving step back um, is, is probably one of the best in the game in terms of quickly creating that distance moving backwards. So comboing that with a tween escape dribble is also really nice. 
adding a tween escape after any dribble move is a great way to activate Agent 3s as well. I also like using his Hezzy escape to create some added distance and added space to launch out of and then launch into a step back jumper. But also, if you're using Luka Doncic, you have to use Bully Ball to your advantage regardless of who's guarding you. So here against Steph, that's easy money right there. So one way I really like using Luka Doncic is by masking a step back jumper into his rhythm dribble combos as you can see right here. You know the simple combos I shared earlier on, mix that with the right step back jumper and you'll get really a lot of success. Also if you cancel that uh, crossover launch into that step back jumper, that's, that works really nice as well. So with Luka Doncic, it's really trying to figure out which step back jumper is right for the particular situation. So you'll want to get into 2KU, try different launch angles, try different combos to see what step back jumper that you get. So there you have it, Luka Doncic was absolutely incredible um, against the Warriors yesterday. I think he's in top 3 in the MVP conversation right now, maybe top 1 or top 2 depending on how you value what he's doing for the Mavericks, which I, who I think took a step back this year in terms of their ability to compete with some of the best teams in the West. They're gonna need one more player, but right now, if you want to dominate like Luka, these are the moves that you need to know. Mastering his dribble combos and his step-back jumpers, that will be your key to success.